What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and guys, with all the things that have coming out, finally we have a little snippet teaser for the Snyder Cut. And what better way to usher it in than a small scene that was never seen in the original release theatrically. And also simultaneously sets up the big dude himself, Darkseid. This was most effective because it's got Diana discovering about the mother box and Darkseid as it was originally intended in his version of the film. And on top of that, at the great battle long ago, which he teased in a black and white still on Vero, which people said this was just concept art or still, it wasn't an actual sequence. Well, guess what? It is an actual sequence because it's literally the same sequence that we just saw in this teaser at the end with color, with full motion and all that stuff. After all this, you can't tell me nothing. I don't care. You can't tell me that this thing wasn't like 75% finished. You can't talk shit to me about how, oh, it would have been the same movie. Please, you know what? All that time is done. Just like Clark said in Man of Steel, Krypton had its chance. Well, guess what? All you Zack Snyder haters, you had your chance to chirp, 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 and now we're going to get his vision. Now, granted, it could suck, could be great, but we don't know. The most important thing is that he's actually getting his redemption and his chance to show what he had in store for all of the people with his DC trilogy, which might become a quadrilogy if this is successful and if they can get Batfleck and all the people to come back for JLA part two. But on a more serious note, the thing about this is, is that I really think that this was a smart move because we are actually seeing stuff that we've never seen before. Now, Going forward, Zack needs to chill. He needs to cool his jets because he doesn't want us to give, or he doesn't want to give us all away the footage that he's never shown to anyone, or he doesn't want to give us the whole of the new sequences that are going on. This is a step in the right direction. Leave some breadcrumbs throughout the year, leading up until the May 2021 release for HBO Max, and this is the best way to do it. I mean, throughout the whole of the release of Snyder Cut, you've gotten free advertisement from all of the stars, from all of the fans, from Zach showing the outpouring of his support from the fan base and the DC fan base and the people that just want to say, hey, this guy got wrong. Let's give him a shot again. Let's have him show what he wanted. And again, from day one, I've been a fan of this movement ever since I heard about all the different things that have been going on with all the background crap, all the politics, all the stuff that ended up happening to Zack Snyder because of feedback from fans. But anyway, guys, what do you think about the teaser for the Snyder Cut? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you dug this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, if you are, make sure you hit that bell button. That way you never miss a moment of my content. But as always, guys, I'm Jay, so take care and bye.